going to pick up Paul. He's going to take me out to Lake of the Prairies and Russell. We're going to go try some ice fishing out there. I've never been ice fishing at Lake of the Prairies, so I'm excited to go see if I can have any luck. I've summer fished there, but we'll see how the winter goes. It's a lot different. What's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Ready to go do some fishing? Yeah, man. It's freezing out, but... Yeah, it's cold. I hope that wind dies down before we get out there. Yeah, open on the lake. It's going to be pretty cold out got, here. Got a shack out there? Yeah. Got oh, a shack. Good. We can start get a fire. Get the fire going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Today, Colton and I will be headed out to Lake of the Prairies, which is located around 250 kilometers northwest of Brandon and 50 kilometers northwest of my hometown of Angusville. And after a long trip on the highway, we are eager to get out onto the lake. Yeah, there's my parents and my, pretty sure a couple of my uncles are coming out here today too. Maybe one of my aunties. More the merrier. Yeah. Go ahead a bit. Let's get about four guys. Looks like we arrived just in time. My dad is having a little trouble getting out of a deep rut in the snow. So it was time to pick up the shovel and start digging. Hazards of ice fishing, eh? <laughs> there you go. But soon enough, we were off and running, and we could start setting up for the long day of fishing ahead of us. Today I'm using a silver prismatic jig head, tipped with a live minnow on a trailer hook. The trailer goes through the back of the minnow and serves as a backup just in case you need that second chance. So I finally get to drop my line and it isn't too long before I get my first good bite of the day. Bring it up, bring it up. First one of the day. All right, first fish of the weekend. Cole got the first fish here. Right on. Yeah, that looks like a keeper, eh? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, that'll be good nice tonight. Nice 14 and a half. Yeah, it's a nice eye. One of the best, best eating. Yeah. Well, let's get, her, let's get a pile going here. <laughs> Hopefully we'll awesome. down. Got a few more in that pile by the end of the day. Put another minnow on there. Seem to be feeding them more than I'm feeding us today. Hopefully I can get out of my slump here and pull one up just like Paul. Unlike everyone else, Colton didn't seem to be having the best of luck. So he decided to take matters into his own hands and drill a few more holes and try his luck outside. First off, just primer ball right there. Just primer a couple times, get the gas flowing, choke, and just recoil and she should fire up. brings you out to Lake of the Prairies, Paul? Uh, just came out here a lot when I was a kid. Lots of memories, driving around on the sleds, climbing up all these hills and stuff. You know, coming out with friends and family, that kind of thing, but I don't know. It's just kind of a good thing to get away from the city once in a while, living in the city the last few years. You don't get to go fishing as much, so I just like coming out here every once in a while. I Beautiful wish the fishes area. were biting a little bit more, but can't really complain buddy that we're gonna go see right away Wes he's catching some nice jack so he's been telling me he caught a 44 incher and a 42 incher already today so oh, wow too bad we weren't cooking up any jack yeah. <laughs> so it was back onto the snow-packed road to meet up with Wes Osborne Chris Kringle Chris Mansell and Mark Nuremberg and see how they were catching when we arrive they show us the tip up technique which they are using to catch large northern pike once the pike bites the flag rises to let you know you have something on the line then you hand reel in the fish. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know this kind of fishing when I came up here. Yeah. yeah. Like this was new to a lot of guys, this tip up fishing with big bait. And I came up, uh, not saying this wasn't around. You know, these but, guys just didn't fish yeah. this way. They, it was around, they just didn't see it yet. Once we were done telling each other our fishing stories, Colton caught up with Wes to ask him a few questions about how they've been catching. Have much luck today? Yeah, we've had some decent luck for sure. Catch a mass strangler is very good luck, so that was the first hour that we've been here. So nothing, nothing sense. Uh small, uh small wall or uh, yeah, 14-inch walleye and a 
14 inch jack, small one, but. That's what we even catch with small walleye. Have you noticed over the past few years that they've been kind of declining in size? Ah, uh, well, last year I thought it was good, but uh, this year I haven't. That's the biggest one I've seen all year. Although fishing hasn't quite been what it used to be, the thrill of seeing the flag go up will get anybody's blood pumping. And once he has a fish on the line, Chris decides to give us a few pointers on tip up fishing. Yeah, you want to see him run twice. Take it twice, grab it, and then stop, turn it around, put it in his mouth, and then run again with it. So, usually the second time he runs is when we take it. <coughs> oh, I can feel him, he's there. Slowly kind of take it away from him, then feed him some line, and then get him! <laughs> Oh, I lost him, unless he's swimming at the hole. Uh, oh. Well, unfortunately for Chris, he can't catch them all. And after a few more close calls, Wes's patience pays off, and he pulls out a monster pike. Yeah! Nice. There we go, finally. Nice northern pike right there. Finally all day. <laughs> Got a good one here. After a quick measurement and weighing, it was goodbye to the fish and goodbye to our new friends as we head back to see if we could catch a few more fish ourselves. After a couple more small bites and with nighttime creeping in on us, Colton finally got his catch of the day. <laughs> oh, another minnow. <laughs> Have enough of these already today. It was then time to start packing up and get ready to head back home for a tasty fried fish meal. The family is hungry and so are we, so we start getting to work right away. Once the filleting is done, it's a quick dip in some whisked eggs and a nice battering and some seasoned breading then it's laid out, ready to be fried. Once the butter's sizzling in the pan, it gives us a few moments to reminisce about our adventure at Lake of the Prairies. Of course, you're not gonna catch 12 big ones, but you gotta catch a couple little ones too. It would've been nice to have some bigger bites, but it was still fun. Got out to do the sport we enjoy, and no, this is, this is what it's all about. Yeah, gonna have dinner with the family right away. Fish frying on the frying pan. Can't really complain about that, so. So that's all the time we had today for hook, line, and supper. Hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. You know, I know I did. I know my family's enjoying the meal that I made for them. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go over there and join them and get some food in me as well. Night.